So you're gonna move up? I'm kinda hungry here. Sorry, you go around me. Excuse me. Do you know what's going on outside? Haven't you heard? Somebody stabbed a pharmacist last night right out in the alleyway. The pharmacist. He was a drug dealer. I mean, he was a homeless dude, but he was a drug dealer, so... Most of us called him the pharmacist. Anyway, I sure am glad I wasn't one of his patients. I'm James, by the way. Where are you from? Not from around here, huh? Uh, you look like you've been on the road for a while. Springfield. I'm Sam, by the way. Man, you are a long way from home. Where are you headed? Any family? I haven't seen him in a few years. Got a buddy up in New York I might go check out. You a war buddy? I could tell. I can also tell you've been to prison, or at least jail. Anyway, a lot of us here served, but most of us can't remember why or what for. And you do? When I first returned home, people thanked me for my service. They thought I was over there fighting for them, risking my life so they could be free. I was fighting for my men. I was over there risking my life for my men, whether I lived or died, just so my men could get home. So you got all your men home? There was this one young kid from Boston, Private Elliot T. Parker. He was the toughest son of a bitch I ever knew. <laughs> On time. In basic training, we were out in the woods. <laughs> he tripped and fell in a foxhole and broke his leg. <laughs> so, then, he crawled out of there and walked until he found the road. Then he walked two more miles until the car finally stopped. Asked if he needed a ride back to the base. <laughs> oh, man. So what happened to him? We were out in patrol, and, and we got ambushed. When we pulled out, I saw somebody from another company dragging his body out. The other guy said that while he was dragging him, he was crying for his mother as he bled to death. I'm sorry. I think I gotta get out of here and take a walk. I'm sorry. Stop to help. 
damn it! Hey! Stay away from her! Stay away! Get away! I've never seen those guys around here before. Hey, what's your name? Aren't you gonna say anything? Anyone sitting here? Good. <sighs> My name's Mia. You just walked away last night. That was a messy situation, and you put yourself at risk. Why? <sighs> well, whatever your reasoning was, thank you. You're a good man. I'm not a good man. Yeah, you are. You remind me of my brother. My brother is tough, and he loves to get into fights. He was the guy I could always rely on. So where is he? Our mother had a really bad taste in men. She was seeing this one guy named Steve. He was probably one of the worst ones. He would slap my mother around, and when she wasn't around, he would hit me. Well, one day, I finally decided to call my brother, and I told him what Steve had been doing. So what did he do? Well, he showed up at my mother's house. Um, Steve was busy slapping my mother around. And in two seconds, my brother was on top of him and wailing on him. He nearly killed him. But... Our mother stopped him. After that, she called the cops on him and then kicked me out. She picked that asshole over her own children. I'm sorry. You wanna know something else? The man didn't even drink. He was just a dick and he loved hurting people. Yeah, I know what that's like. It doesn't matter. My brother's gonna get out of prison soon, and then I'm gonna go live with him. So what's your story? From Illinois, small town in Illinois. Went to school, had good grades, played some football, you know, all that normal stuff. And? Oh, come on, that can't be everything. Okay. When I was 17, I enlisted. I served for eight years. I did different trains all over the world. Took different places like Japan, Germany, and Iraq. Did you see any action? Yeah, I saw some action. When I came home, things were okay for a little while. But then, I started to hear voices and see things. The medication never really helped. That's when I lost control. What do you mean? Did you ever kill anybody? No, I didn't. I, I didn't kill anyone. I, not here. I don't think so. I, 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 I didn't do it. I, I, did, I didn't kill anyone. I didn't. I didn't. Sam, I, I did what is that?
no, 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 please, oh God, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Sam, what are you doing here? What's wrong? Killed her, James. I didn't mean to kill her. I just wanted the voices to stop. Killed who? Mia. Who's Mia? The girl that was being attacked last night. I killed her. I'm covered in her blood. There's no blood on you. You're not covered in anything. What? There's no blood on you. The body was right there. I have to be covered in her blood. There's no one there. You lied to me. You're trying to trick me. No, I'm not. I swear. You just need help. I never had to hurt anyone. Sam. I'm so tired. Sam. Who killed the pharmacist? <laughs> Sam, give me the knife. We'll go to the police together. Let's go, Sam.